Hello everyone, Linda Israel here. I know this is a whole different scene, but I'm here today to show you how to create a pop-up card using a Christmas Dream pop-up card. This is a new digital download that Norella of Calico Collage has created exclusively for my shop. As you can see, this is the Fussy Cut Elements page. It has all these little elements that we can fussy cut out to use in our pop-up card. And then there is the card base or foundation it'll make a five by seven card it has two little tabs that you can use and then here is the other side so I have already cut these out so that's what you'll want to do when you start this is print these three elements on two sheets of cardstock I've already cut them out so here you can see I've got the card base I'll go ahead and fold this in half and crease it and I know that I want this little bird element because it's so pretty that I want to put on the front and I found this paper doily in my stash but I thought it needed a little bit more color so let's change that I've got my spray box here and I have the red that is called a Christmas dream cherry a Christmas berry so I'm going to shake this up because it's got lots of mica in there shake it up well and then I'm gonna open this up and then spray and it's probably more than I need but that's okay we'll let this dry by using my heat tool that is dry now I've gone in and used my heat tool and it's got a beautiful little silver shimmer to that I want to add some distress inks to the edge of that so I've got distress ink walnut stain I'm just gonna go right around the edge and let's glue these pieces together so I think what I want is for that little doily to kind of be peeking out behind the bird so I will put a little bit of glue using Aline's tacky glue and then stick the doily so it's kind of peeking out but not too far up and then we'll glue the whole thing together so I like that I'll set this aside for a moment and then we've got in this kit a little pocket element so Norella's made this to be a two layer element so you've got this little pocket piece that has little tabs on it so you'll fold those back and then we have another one that will fold back I've gone ahead and gone around the edges with distress oxide or distress walnut stain and what we'll do is glue this together so I'm going to lay this on top and then glue these little tabs to my tag base then I'll glue this one on top of the other. I'm going to set this aside for a moment to dry. I've got an acrylic block that I'm going to put on top of it. Now we have in the kit these little tabs that what you'll want to do is trim them out and then I went ahead and put Distress Oxide or Distress Walnut Stain. I don't know why I keep saying Oxide. Y'all know it's Distress Ink. Walnut Stain all the way around and then fold it in half. So I call this a mountain fold where the fold goes up. And then these little pieces here you will fold down right where the line changes on both of those and then this is going to be our pop-up mechanism so what will happen is is we'll glue here and here and that will be in the card so that when it's flat and then when it opens up it pops up so we're going to take this and I'm deciding which way I want to do it I think I want my pocket element to be on this side and then I've got this little rose element I thought maybe the you know it might help if I I put my card together upside down <laughs> that's what happens I put it together upside down Robin's at the other end of the table laughing at me oh well well, these are supposed to be Christmas ornaments across here. So we're just going to pretend that this is the way I wanted it to be. <laughs> Pay attention, y'all. <laughs> All right. I think it's upside down. I have to look at it and see what Norella did. But maybe it's not upside down. Maybe I'm just thinking it's upside down because it looks like these should go the other way. But maybe not. I must... Oh, I see. These are supposed to be rhinestones. Never mind, it's not upside down. All right, so this piece is going to go. This is the center of our card. So I'm going to take this and glue this down so that when I put my pocket element, it's not too far over to the left and it's not too far over to the right. So I'm just going to put a little glue on this tab. All right, 
So we're going to line this up right about there. I find that if I just put a little acrylic block on top of it, it helps hold it in place because you don't want to move it too soon before your glue is set up or it'll just come right out of your card. So we'll set that there for a second. I've got this secondary tab. So I'm doing the same thing. Fold the tabs back, fold it in half. And now I'm just going to put glue on these two little tabs. And I'm going to put this one over here. And again, I'll put my little block on there for a moment. In the kit comes little words. It's got Merry, Happy, and then Christmas. So I think we'll put Christmas and then Merry. I think that would look kind of cute. I don't know that it has to be perfectly straight. If that's what you want, you can. I think I'm just going to do it kind of cockeyed on here. So I'll glue these into place. And Norella's also provided this little snowflake element. I think I want the red one though. I think I'm going to glue that right here in this corner. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue right there in that corner and then attach this little circle snowflake. Okay, I like that. So this is going to go on my pop-up mechanism. So you can see that that pocket pop-up mechanism, see how that and it'll lay flat and then opens up. So I'm going to take this piece and adhere it to the front of that pop-out piece. And then on this one, I think what I want to do is I like this little flower element and maybe, I don't know, I may not use all the elements. I think I, think I like that. All right, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the Well, maybe I'll do that. Let's see what happens if I do it this way. Okay, so one thing you got to know about a pop-up card is if you put elements in here, however you adhere them down, you don't want them poking out whenever your card is closed. So I'm just looking at that. No, that's not going to work. So I'm just going to put the little flowers right here and glue this down right on top. I think I'll just put the little snowflake right here in the corner. All right, so here is our pop-up card to start with. Make sure I got all my little elements. Yeah, there we go. And then these are little tags that go inside. And then on the back, let's put, um, no, I was going to put something on the back, but I think I like it just the way that it is. I'll just have these extra little elements that I can use somewhere else. So there it is. There is the pop-up card. So there's the front. And then we pop it up and you can see the inside and then there's the back. Well, I hope you like this quick little tutorial of how to put together the pop-up card. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you have any comments or questions, use that description box down below. And of course, check the description box or the comments box, the description box for links to this kit and the Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist that I use. Again, if you have any questions, let me know. I hope you'll know that I go live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time. And again, on Thursdays, I either have a live premiere recorded video or I go live on Thursdays at 12 30 p.m. Central Standard Time. All right be on the lookout by for my other videos by clicking subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get a notification next time I have an upload. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Have a great day. Bye.